Okay, so let's see what we got today. Got my old Kubota tractor out, and I got a PTO generator. Came uh, freight delivery today. This is a 7,200 watt uh, continuous 7,800 watt peak generator. Runs off the PTO, requires 14 horsepower at the PTO shaft. All right, it's got a 30 amp, 240 volt outlet as well as some 120s. So, got my old tractor. I got two tractors. So this is the old one. It's got about 5,000 hours on it. It's pretty worn out, but I, it's still good. Still use it for a lot of stuff. But the engine's got a lot of life left in it, so I could probably pull another couple thousand hours out of that. We'll see. That's the idea, is to get the maximum life out of this. I picked up this three-point lift from Tractor Supply. It's a county line. It was about $160. The generator runs $1,000. I got it for $800. Um, and this PTO shaft is about $110. It's a 16 horsepower PTO shaft, so it's kind of marginal, but I'll typically be running about 10 horsepower on this guy. All right, got a piece of plywood here. I'm going to bolt this thing down. I'm going to figure out all the spacing and get this all right, and then we're going to fire it up and see what it can do. So let's get started. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. That's the shortest that it gets, and it does extend right where it's got to go. This, oh, this is as short as this gets, and it just barely gets in. I've got this set up. Uh, I've got it mounted. It's pretty level, pretty straight. And uh, got the PTO shaft on there. We're all set up. It has to be grounded. So I put a little grounding, temporary grounding rod in. This isn't where it's going to go. I'm just doing a little test here. So here you can see you've got the 30 amp uh, 240, 120, 240 output. And uh, I think this is a 20 amp 120 breaker here. Let's go ahead and turn that off. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the tractor, let it warm up, and then we're going to slowly bring the voltage up until we get it into that just above that black line in the green section. Then we'll plug something in and see how it goes. This has already been tested at the factory, so I don't have to worry about any kind of break in or anything. It's got oil in it. Let's go for it. Alright guys, I got it cranked up. And it's uh, not as stable. I'm going to have to build something a little better. It's, not, it's like you've got a wobble. too hot. I mean, it's a lower RPM than I thought it would take. So I'm not worried about that. I don't like the shake. There's too much torque here. I'm going to have to replace that plywood. Uh, either three quarter inch or maybe, maybe some metal.
All right, guys, I got my tractor in place, got the PTO generator all hooked up, got the ground strap on here, runs over to there, got this 30 amp plug, and that runs into this plug that goes to my transfer switch. Okay, it's all set, pretty level, got the PTO shaft on there and chained off. So now I'm going to start the tractor, it's already warmed up. And then I'm just going to let this, uh, I'm going to engage the PTO and let it warm up for a minute or two. And then we're going to see what it can do. Very comfortable up here with no load on it, no problem. So we good. Just let it warm up for a sec and then we're going to put some power. So the way I'm going to use this PTO generator it actually works out really good. Because if you hooked it directly to the house and you were, um, you know, dumping loads on and off of it, it would change the tractor RPM and then the voltages would constantly be off. You'd have to have somebody sit on the tractor and adjust it constantly, or you'd have to have like an auto throttle to maintain the PTO uh, RPMs. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to put a constant load on it for two hours, max it out to six or 7,000 watts. And the way I'm doing that is with this off-grid solar, battery back solar power system. Now this thing has two 60 amp chargers that can dump up to 7,000 watts into this battery bank continuously for two hours or however long I want until they're charged. But So basically that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up for six, 7,000 watts and let it run continuous for two hours and I don't have to mess with the RPMs. Alright, so let's see how we're going to do this. So what I want to do is I want to bring this thing up to up to uh, speed here slowly. I don't want to just dump 7,000 watts on it. So we're going to go to our charger setup, 30 amps. All right, so we're going to take it all the way down to 10%, right? All right, now this is the breaker for the PTO generator. All right, so now we've got power up to my system. I'm going to turn it on. This thing should kick in. It's going to check that power, qualify it, make sure it's good, and if it likes it, it'll turn on the, the chargers. There it went. And hasn't pulled any current yet. That's right here. It's just kind of checking it out, and it'll start pulling some current, probably 10 or so amps. There it goes. You hear the RPM on the tractor dropped a little bit. So now we got to go adjust our RPM back up. Twenty percent to thirty percent. Twenty-five amps. Twenty-six. Let's go check that throttle. Okay, we're at 37. Charger set up. Let's go all the way to 50%. This might be too much of a jump. We'll see. 38. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Sixty percent. Uh oh. She's bogging down. That's not good. I think my tractor likes that, so. Back to 50. OK, 
Okay, so I'd say we're pulling about 4,000 watts out of that Jenny. And the tractor is kind of struggling, so I don't think I'm going to push it too much more than this. And that's not bad. 74 amps at 54 volts. We're 84% charged. I can let it run like this for an hour or two and see how we do. We got about 50 amps at 53, that's 2500 ish, 2600 watts. I think that's where I'll keep it. Seems pretty happy right there. Not struggling too much. Let's let that roll for a while. Good. I think next time what I'll do is get a helper and I'll just crank this on to 40% right from the start. Somebody sitting on the tractor, as soon as they see a jump, just adjust it right away and we'll be in business. So I could take it up a little higher, but I don't want to push my tractor is the main thing. If I had a bigger tractor, you could definitely, I mean, you could double this. Could put 100 amps in here. Okay, so it's getting close to about an hour and a half, and it's run perfectly steady, putting out the same amount of power, and the throttle and the RPMs have been great. Haven't had to adjust it at all. We're at 93% charge. I'm going to go ahead and start the shutdown process. So I think the way I'll do it is I'll just cut the breaker at the, the PTO generator so I can immediately ramp down the throttle. Okay, so let's talk about the pros and the cons. First, for the pros, we have that it runs on diesel, right? So I already have tractors that run on diesel. It lasts a lot longer than gas, and I'm already storing a couple hundred gallons of diesel for my tractors, so that's great. It uses an existing engine. You're not paying for an extra engine. Now, if you're worried about wearing out your tractor engine, uh, typically these diesel engines and tractors will outlast your tractor by two to three times. So even though my tractor art is already pretty worn out, it's got about 5,000 hours on it, um, the engine will probably last another 5,000 hours. So you can really get the most out of it. Also, you're getting a better generator. You know, you're, all your money's going towards the alternator, so um, it's got more copper, better windings, uh, less than 6% total harmonic distortion, so it's a high quality generator. Clean power. And lastly, it's quieter, because you got a better exhaust system on a tractor, so it'll tend to run a lot quieter. Okay, so let's look at the cons. First, if you only have one tractor, then this is probably not gonna be a great idea because typically when you lose power, you might have a storm and you might have trees down and you're gonna to wanna to use that tractor for clearing and, and uh, whatever. So if you only have one tractor, probably not great. Uh, also, if you don't have auto throttle on the PTO shaft, then this thing is, let's say if you get hooked to your house and you're adding loads and removing loads, then the throttle's gonna change and you're gonna have to constantly adjust it. It's not gonna work. So uh, if you have auto throttle or if you can keep a constant load on it like I do, I'm just loading it up to 3000 watts and then run it for a couple hours and shut it off. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.